Good morning, dear children. I welcome you all to Saint Mary English High School. Subject: General Science, Standard Sixth. Chapter number five: Substances and Surrounding, Dead States and Properties. In our day-to-day -day life, we see so many substances in our surrounding. In which state they do occur? In nature, every substance occur in a specific states. That substances are called as solid, liquid, and gases. In this chapter, we are going to study substances. Before we proceed further, let us see the three states of matter. That is solid. You can see in the picture. Solid examples are hat, skateboard, pencil, table, snow, bicycle, apple, computer, tree, etc. Liquid, milk. Drink, rain, soup, hot chocolate, water in pools, juice, etc. Gaseous, wind, air, wind from fan, hot air balloon, steam, fog, wind, etc. So these are the states of matter that is solid, liquid, and gas. Next is can you recall? Name the solid, liquid, and gaseous states of water. So, we can see that ice is in solid state, water is in liquid state, and the vapor is in gaseous state of water. All the substances in the surrounding exists in three state: solid state. Liquid state and gaseous state. Now, to understand the change of states of substance, let us do a small activity. Let try this. Take a pieces of wax in a bowl and heat them on a candle or a spirit lamp. How do the pieces of wax change? The pieces of wax changes into liquid. What was the initial state of wax? The initial state of wax was in solid state. What did it get converted into? After heating, it converts into liquid state. Now, keep the same bowl in a cold water. What happens when the same bowl is kept in a cold water? It get solidified again. From this, we can understand that. When a substance changes from one state to another, the process is called change of state of substance. Now, here some list of substances is given. See the picture here. Which one freeze in winter? Ghee. Coconut oil. Which liquid have you seen changes into vapor when a lid of spirit lamp is kept open? The spirit changes into gaseous. The spirit in liquid that changes into gaseous. Which solid directly change into gaseous state? Camphor, naphthalene ball. Changes into gaseous state directly. So we learn from this that the state of a substance changes if it is heated or cooled. Every substance in our surrounding is found in either the solid, liquid, or gaseous state. Now here the table is given. Let us. Difference between the state of substance. Solid. Example: a piece of iron. So, it has a shape of its own. It retains shape no matter how it is kept. Volume: it has a definite volume. Solids like sugar, sand, when poured on a flat surface, form a heap. Liquid. Example. Water, spirit, oil, shape. 
it does not have a shape of its own it take the shape of the container and it has a specific volume as definite portion of a container spreads on a flat surface on pouring flows downward along a slope gaseous example air does not have a shape of its own occupies all the available space does not have a definite volume on changing the pressure on a gas in a closed container its volume also changes heat and changes of a physical state the physical state of a substance is an effect of the amount of heat in it on gaining heat the substance changes from solid to liquid and liquid to gas on the other hand when the substance cool or loses heat it changes from gaseous to liquid and liquid to solid state change in physical state of a substance is due to effect of heat solids on heating changes their state into liquid liquids on heating change into gas similarly the gases when cooled convert into liquid and liquids when cooled further can change into solid heating means gaining heat while cooling is losing heat the temperature and a thermometer when a substance get heat it become warm and then hot student sometime we put our hand or finger in the water to judge how hot it is but that is not an accurate measure beside if the substance is very hot we could get scalded so a thermometer is used to measure temperature degree celsius is the unit of measuring temperature there are several types of thermometer available nowadays digital thermometer are frequently used boiling when water is heated its temperature gradually rises at the same time process of evaporation take place with the increase in temperature the rate of evaporation becomes faster if water is continuously heated at 100 degree celsius we can see bubbles rising faster and faster evaporation takes place from all the parts of the body of water this is called boiling of water boiling point of a pure water is thus 100 degree celsius let's try this friend this is about recording of temperature take a thermometer from the laboratory the bulb at its lower end is filled with mercury the mercury rises to a certain level in the capillary tube above the bulb you will see a scale next to the mercury column reading the figure near the level of mercury tells us the temperature of air around the bulbs of thermometer now hold the thermometer in a water so that bulb is completely immersed in the water and read the temperature of water here which is the right way to hold the flask some example and temperature temperature of boiling water 100 degree celsius temperature of freezing water 0 degree celsius temperature of air in the winter night less than 15 degree celsius temperature of air in the summer afternoon more than 35 degree celsius inside a fridge the temperature is less than 5 degree celsius the temperature inside the freezer is less than minus 18 degree celsius and the body temperature is approximately 37 degree celsius condensation when the vapor cools it is converted into water again this process is called condensation conversion of liquid state into solid state upon 
when the vapor cools it is converted into water again this process is called condensation upon cooling the the vapor turns back into liquid this process is called condensation the temperature at which condensation takes place is called condensation point for pure water condensation point is also 100 degree celsius the boiling point and the condensation point of water is one and the same freezing conversion of liquid state into solid state is called freezing the temperature at which the freezing occur is called freezing point water freezes into ice at 0 degree celsius therefore the freezing point of pure water is 0 degree celsius and the temperature inside a freezer is minus 18 degree celsius the water kept in a fridge or an ice becomes cooler and cooler that is its temperature falls at a certain temperature water does not get any cooler but start freezing and forms ice the temperature at which this happen is called the freezing point of water melting when ice gets heat it starts melting or changing into liquid state again ice melt at 0 degree celsius it means that the freezing point and the melting point of water are one and the same boiling condensation freezing and melting each substance has a specific melting point which is the same as a freezing point the temperature at which a substance boils while heating is the same as the temperature at which it condenses when it is cooled similarly the temperature at which a substance freezes while cooling is the same as the temperature at which it melts when it is heated sublimation to understand let us do a small activity let try this take some sand in a crucible put a few iodine crystal on it place the crucible on a tripod to heat it block the steam of the funnel with a cotton plug and place it inverted over the crucible light the burner and heat the mixture in the crucible observe the changes what did you observed iodine crystal do not melt on heating but change directly to the gaseous state when the forms of iodine heat the walls of the funnel they cool to form solid crystals of iodine and stick to the funnel walls thus on heating iodine does not melt and change to a liquid but directly change changes to the gaseous state so the change of a solid substance directly into a gas or vapor without first changing into a liquid is called as a sublimation various uses of changes in a physical state means change of one state to another let us see how the following substances are useful to us after changing into a physical state candles are made by melting paraffin wax solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice is used to make ice cream and to keep it frozen liquid nitrogen is used in animal husbandry that is sand silica is melted to make glass metal like gold and silver are melted to make ornaments iron is melted to make tools so these are the various uses of changes in a physical state which are useful to us so we had completed our part 1 of chapter number 5 substances in the surrounding that states and property and in our next video we are going to study about properties of substances metal and properties of metals thank you